No more holding the phone behind the wheel in Michigan. The new law went into effect early this summer, but is it working? TV 5's James Felton is finding out just how effective it's been so far. We have made a significant impact on traffic stops to show people and tell people. Um, so we're doing everything we can. It's a big shift for, for people to understand that a hands-free is the only option. Genesee County Sheriff Chris Swanson and his staff say they've been hard at work to enlighten drivers about the new hands-free law that took effect June 30th. We've stopped 23 drivers for distracted driving and all of them are educational moments. Swanson tells us out of the 23 traffic stops, there was one citation issued. What we have found, James, is there's a significant amount of people that have no idea that that's actually a law. But as it turns out, there are a lot of people statewide who are aware of the hands-free requirement. This, according to Cambridge Mobile Telematics. Spokesperson Matt Ferentino tells us they looked at over 1 million trips across Michigan and thousands of drivers who have opted into safe driving programs offered by insurance companies. CMT found that phone motion distraction dropped by 11% after the hands-free law took effect. That 11% drop has equated to an about 650 crash reduction, as well as a reduction in two fatalities and a reduction in $15 million in economic damages caused by crashes. Fiorentino believes Michigan's law is a model for other states to follow. Michigan's taken a very strong approach on this. So they've made their hands-free law a primary offense, essentially. This means that police officers can pull over a driver for texting and driving or just holding their phone. He's quick to point out that ultimately, safe driving comes down to us. They can decide not to text and drive. They can decide not to look at one of their social media apps while they're driving down the highway. The bill is a way to encourage safer driving. It's a reminder Swanson plans to keep sending. We have to be constantly reminded that you cannot be distracted and because of this, you will save lives. James Felton, WNEM, TV5. And statistics from Michigan State Police on tickets issued for violations are not available yet.